Welcome to the Betty Leon's Room of Local History at the Clinton Public Library, or as we like to call it, the Genealogy Room. You will need to sign in to use the Genealogy Room. You can go to the front desk and sign in there. This is just going to be a general tour of what the Genealogy Room has and what it can be used to help you find. Starting in the left corner of the room as you come in is the computer and the um, microfilm machine and the printer. You can print what you find from the microfilm you're looking up off of the printer. It's 10 cents per page for a copy or you can email it to yourself. For the microfilm, it's actually down here. These are for the Daily Clintonian and they start in 1901 and they go down to 2020, April of 2020. So you take whichever reel you'll need and you put it into the machine. And if you need help with putting it into the machine and getting it going, all of the staff here are trained in how to get the machine going. Next to that is the donated family histories. These are many different families who lived in the area and they've given us records, pictures, etc. that are free for perusal. And down here on the very bottom are the uh, bulletinos. You can find those also on our website in the digital archives. Next to that is the donated photos and local school yearbooks. Everything from Clinton High School to South Vermilion to Sacred Heart and Help Township, I do believe. And these can also be found online on our digital archives. Some of the older yearbooks, we don't actually have physical copies out because the physical copies were um, so degraded. So we have gotten them scanned in and that's how you can see them. Next to that is the magnifier. This is not a computer. This is a magnifier. Turn it on by hitting the power button and putting whatever you're getting wanting magnified under there. So for instance, I just put a brochure under there and it pops up here. Next to the magnifier is the birth records, cemetery records, and census records for the yeah, fountain, some of fountains, some of parks, Vermilion County, and then we have death records and cemetery records coming from the various funeral homes and the various cemeteries where you can find the people by year and by name. And those might tell you the lot, which if that happens, we have maps right down here of the various cemeteries. I know we have Riverside and Walnut Grove and a few others. Next to that is the city directories, the coal mine and railroad records, and death records. More of them. The city directories are from Clinton and Vermilion County as a whole, and then Terre Haute, and then it moves down into the miners and coal mines, and the railroads, and more death records. and the Vermilion County Asylum and the Park County Asylum. Next to that is the um, just general history for the areas. This can be anything from photos to maps to books. And then our final stop on the far wall shelves is the immigrant records, major events, marriage records, and veterans. This area did get a lot of immigrants. In this case, um, most in Clinton were Germany or Italian. 
fact, Northern Italian had some of the most that came in through. And these are for the citizenships, list of German immigrants, index of Indian and naturalization records, etc. Here are the major events. Things like the Norton murder, the Hollinsburg mur massacre that happened in Rockville or near Rockville. Then perhaps the most well-known serial killer to come from Clinton, Indiana, um, Orville and Majors. We have a lot of documentation about him. We have stuff about the Newport ammunition plant. And the John Dillinger um, gang, not John Dillinger himself, his gang, without him, um, robbing a bank here in Clinton. We've actually done a video on this for our uh, history videos. Feel free to check that out after this one. And then things like city ordinances and stuff like that. Marriage records. And veteran records. Some of this was actually used in the making of our Washburn exhibit. So we do recommend people coming in and looking at those. Over here, we have the biographies, research guides, and reference materials. We have a lot of stuff from Ernie Pyle, like a lot of Ernie Pyle. There's other local biographies as well, but there are a lot of Ernie Pyle. Then down here are your resources and reference materials for doing genealogical research. And next to that is the obituaries, the local newspapers, and the Clinton Public Library's history scrapbooks. These are from the Newport Hoosier State obituaries from 1893 to 1902. And then there's ones from the Daily Clintonian. And more obituary things. And down here at the bottom is the Clinton Public Library scrapbooks. These are our history. We are currently working on the one for the current year. And it will eventually get added to as soon as the binder is full. One last thing in here. You may recognize this as a um, old library card or a library card catalog. It is, and we've repurposed it for obituary cards from 1901 to 1983. What is an obituary card, you ask? Well, you have a name of a person who you know died, and you're looking for their obituary for some reason. So let's say you were looking for... Otto Moore. I apologize for the blurriness. You can see the date that he was born, the date he died, and that DC on there means it was in the Daily Clintonian and that was the date of the obituary. So it's always birthday, death day, and um, if there was an obituary or not, it would be DC. If it was the Trib, it would be T or TT or THT. And that is the Betty Lance room, genealogy room. We hope that you come and make use of it. If for some reason you can't come yourself, or you don't have time to do the research yourself, you can email us a genealogy request and we will help look up the information for you. However, it will take us time to get to look through all of our vast array of records so it can take a while to get back to you so if you do go that route be aware that it may be a few weeks before we get back to you well thank you all and you all have a good day